Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a video that is mainly used to keep myself accountable um, and I'm going to go through all of the products that I have not yet used in my collection. These are items that I all purchased or got as gifts and I never got around to using. Um, it could be some of them are quite recent, some of them are quite old and yeah, I just wanted to kind of sum them all up and show you them, uh, but also just kind of make myself realize how much I actually have that I haven't got around to using. So um, before we jump into products, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you in the family. But no more rambling, let's just jump into the products. So we're going to start with miscellaneous categories because I definitely have one category of items that I have the most in. So I'm just going to start with the ones that I have like maybe one or two in. And the first one I have is the only lipstick that I have out of all of the items. And it's actually a liquid lipstick. So this one is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Beso. So this one actually got free with purchase uh, when I picked up some other things uh, in the airport actually. So um, I managed to get this um, for free. Um, I haven't even opened this yet because I do have some other kind of red lip good lipsticks and I don't want to open this up before I have started using them up. So that's basically the main reason why I haven't used this. Um, it's just sitting in my collection now. I could probably use the clutter it and give it somewhere else because I have enough reds that I would probably last me liquid lipstick wise for a long time. But I just think it's so cute and I'm holding on to it because of that. If I don't open this up in the next maybe six months or so, I'll definitely get declutter this because I haven't gone around to using it yet. So we'll see what happens with this one, but this is going to be the first product. Next up we have one that is still wrapped up. So this is another one that I got free with purchase. And this one is the Body Shop Super Volume Mascara. Um, and yeah, it's just in the black shade. So I haven't even opened this yet and um, it still has the plastic on it. And what the reason why I haven't used this mainly is because I mainly use waterproof mascaras. I feel like if I wear non-waterproof mascaras, my eyelashes just fall straight. So um, that's basically why I haven't reached for this. The only way I can see myself reaching for this is to kind of lay it on top of a waterproof mascara. I've done that before in the past with non-waterproof mascaras, but yeah, I just haven't really felt the need to do that with this one. And it is getting quite old, but since it hasn't been opened, I'm assuming it's fine. So. We'll see, again, it's something that I'm hopefully going to be able to get to this year and if I don't, I will potentially consider giving this to my mum because I know that she's similar to me, she needs to use a waterproof mascara but she always will layers it with something that is not waterproof. So if I don't reach for this this year, I will probably pass it on to her so that at least she can get some use out of it. Another product from another category that is still wrapped up in this plastic is this lip liner from NYX. This is the slide on, glide on, stay on and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme color lip liner. Definitely the longest name ever for lip liner, but anyway, um, and this one is in the shade Nude Suede Shoes. I think someone on YouTube mentioned this and I really wanted to try it out, but I don't really reach for lip liners that often, so I haven't even opened this yet. Um, I do have a few other lip liners that I want to use up before I open this one up. It's another one that I should get to, even though I haven't opened it up and we may last a little bit longer. I think it still will dry out if I don't get to it, so... I should just open this up and start using it because there's no point in me kind of holding on to something that hasn't been used. Yeah, I think I have like one or two lip liners that I really want to get through before opening this up. But again, I need, really need to get to this throughout this year. Next up we have two eyeliners and they are both from Colourpop. So I did a massive Colourpop order last May, I believe. And um, I ordered like so many of the colorful kind of cream gel liners and these two are two that i haven't gotten to yet so we have the shade puppy and the shade sulu so this one is obviously an orange and this one is like a teal color and i haven't gotten to these two yet i've used most other ones which i think i have like six more of these and i used all of them but these two are two that i haven't gone around to using and um, i really want to like start playing around with like using colorful kind of water lines and things like that to get some more use out of this but also just for fun um because i definitely have started playing more with color and i think implementing these would be great and i definitely need to try to reach for these especially since i've heard that the color pop cream gel liners dry up quite quickly so definitely two that i will get to this year but i just haven't gone around to it yet and then the last product that i have in like the miscellaneous category is actually a blush and this is one of the Becca blushes and the shade that I have here is Wild Honey. 
So I picked this up, was it like a year ago maybe? No, it was slightly less than that. Maybe it was like seven months ago or so. Um, and I just haven't gone around to using it. It's a stunning shade and I picked this up because I am lacking kind of like a neutral blush like this in my collection. Um, but it's just not something that I reach for very often. I like these kind of pink like blushes. I'm wearing quite a pink blush today. And I used to kind of find those more fun. I definitely have a few kind of neutral blushes and I absolutely love all of them. And that's why I thought that picking this up would be an amazing idea. And I actually think that I will really, really enjoy this. I just need to get around to trying it out because I haven't put so much cheeks yet. I only swatched it. So yes, that is one that is an easy kind of fix. I can just reach for this one day. But I just kind of put it in my collection. I haven't thought about it. Um, so yeah, this is one that I'm not really worried about going bad. But it's something that I definitely just need to start using. So moving on to the category that I have the most of and you can probably guess what it is, it's eyeshadows. Here I used to have my kind of C palettes and I do have a few single shadows that I I want to include and then I have quite a few different um, used palettes. So I'm going to start with the C palette and I had a look for this earlier just to see what I haven't used. So this is like a more kind of colourful one. I think that I haven't, I know I haven't used this one. So this one... Is, it looks a bit beaten up because I put my nails in it a few times and also I swatched it so many times because it's such a beautiful shade. But one that I'm yet to use on my eyes is this shade from Makeup Geek. And this is one of their foil, foiled eyeshadows in the shade Pegasus. It's such a beautiful shade and I just haven't gone around to using it yet. And I think you could make really beautiful looks with this. I just need to get out of my comfort zone and start using blue a bit more. So. That's something that I need to challenge myself this year, but I definitely think it's something that is kind of feasible for me because um, a year ago I would never have worn as much colour on my eyes as I do today. So I'm really going to try to push myself to use more blues this year, uh, including these eyeshadows because it's absolutely stunning. So I have three more Makeup Geek eyeshadows. The next one is this one right here, which is a duochrome eyeshadow in the shade Mai Tai. I again think this is beautiful. I think the reason why I haven't reached for it is because it's not super super shimmery. It definitely has that kind of duochrome to it but it's just not as shimmery. To be fair, now kind of swatching it on my hand is really really similar to another eyeshadow that, that I am panning currently which is the NARS Outer Limit eyeshadow. It has the same shift to it, it's just not as glittery so I reckon pairing those two together would be absolutely stunning because this is more of a base colour and that would provide a glitter so I may try that but again I just haven't drawn around to putting this on my eye. So I have one more shimmery eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and then one matte uh, and the next shimmer is this one right here which is in the shade Untamed. It's again a beautiful shade, it's very very kind of yellow golden, which I like, um, but I just feel like this is just like a gold and I feel like when I reach for my single eyeshadows because I have a lot of colours in there, I try to get make up like colourful eyeshadow looks or I reach for like the greens or like the other shades that I love. This one is just kind of like a plain, I mean it's not plain, it's absolutely stunning, but I just feel like I don't reach for this because i would rather reach for eye eyeshadows but it's one that i definitely want to try to reach for this year because it's absolutely stunning and the times that i have swatched this i just i'm blown away with the kind of effects of it so it's definitely one of my favorite bronzy goals in my collection i just haven't used it yet on my eyes so that is another one i will try to get some use out and then the last makeup the eyeshadow i have is this one right here which is in the shade chickadee um, i remember wanting this so so bad i like it was constantly out of stock uh, and I just wanted it so bad because it's like this kind of must mustard yellow. Um, since then I've gotten this kind of shade in a lot of palettes and I'm not as fussed anymore. But I just remember wanting this so bad and now I haven't even used it on my eyes which is ridiculous. So that is the last eye uh, making the eyeshadow. And then I have one more single eyeshadow before I move into palettes. So the other shade that I have is from Nabla. And this is one of their yeah, single eyeshadows, it looks like this, in the shade Absinthe. So I picked up this as well as another Nabla shade, which is in this shade Al Alchemist, I believe. And I did actually have the Alchemist in my first round ever of my Pandas eyeshadows, and I absolutely love that shade. It was so, so pretty. But this one is kind of like a similar one, but it has like a green shift to it, like a green to purple. And it's beautiful. The times I have swatched it, it's not as impactful as um, Alchemist, but 
it's still a beautiful shade and I'm can't believe I haven't used this on my eyes yet because I think I would absolutely love this because I love both like those kind of purpley shades as well as the skin. You can probably see the like duochrome mess when I do that on camera. It's absolutely stunning. So I just really need to start using that this year because I love this shade. So let's move on to eyeshadow palettes. Um, we're gonna start with this one right here. This one is one of my I Heart Revolution um, palettes. This is like the mini eyeshadow palette. And this one is in the shade Shock Mint. I haven't even swatched this yet. It's completely brand new. Um, I picked this up together with two more. One I'm actually panning in my Panda palette this year and the other one is actually currently in my Panda's eyeshadows. So I'm getting quite a, a bit of use out of the other ones, but this one I just haven't gone around to yet. I feel like it's very kind of, it's cool toned, which I have gotten more into recently, but it's also just kind of like medium, like I don't really, I'm not drawn to it. It's like so neutral and like it has like pop green but I just haven't felt drawn to it. I think I mainly picked this up because I got them on offer. I got a pick like three for two so basically got this for free anyway but I just haven't gotten around to using it and it's something that I have considered decluttering because I'm not even sure I would in, like I would enjoy it but I feel like I have other shades that I would prefer so this is one that I'm actually thinking about decluttering rather than using uh, or even giving as a gift since I haven't used it yet so and it is quite it's not that old as well so we'll see what I do with this one but it's one that I'm definitely considering to um, declutter rather than use. I have one eyeshadow palette right here from Anastasia. This is the Soul True palette which I got for a Christmas present this Christmas just, that just passed and it looks like this. It's absolutely stunning and I can't wait to play around with this. I just haven't put it on my eyes yet because I've been so focused on my panda's eyeshadows that I just I've been so like determined to use them that I just haven't gone around to using some of my new palettes and this one included and basically the rest of the actual palettes that I'm going to show you are all very new to my collection and I just haven't played with them because I am panning so many eyeshadows in different projects and I'm so determined to hit pan on them that I just prefer doing that rather than playing with my new makeup. I'm actually going to have some changes soon as well because actually the way it is currently I stay quite a bit at my boyfriend's house and I keep all my makeup here um, so basically I'm bas I'm here in my own flat like once or twice a week so when I go to his I bring things for like a few days and I think what I would do is I would love to play with them one with this one day but I feel like putting all my panels eyeshadows away for like three days in a row would really like kind of make me fall behind on those projects so I think that's one of the reasons why I haven't played with so much with my new eyeshadow palettes because they are all here and I can't bring, obviously I, can't, I can only bring so much to my boyfriend so I think that's one of the reasons but I can't wait to play with this. It's absolutely stunning and it's one of my favourite palettes that I own although I haven't even put it on my eyes yet. I have two Juvia's Place palettes. I picked these two up uh, for the Black Friday sale. I got them just after Christmas again. And I actually picked up a third one, but I have used that one on my eyes, which is the Tri Palette, the green one. But I also have these two. So the first one I have is the Saharan 2 palette. It's absolutely stunning. And I have swatched some of these, but I haven't put them on my eyes again. I think this is such a beautiful palette. This pa shade in the middle is beautiful. It's so stunning. Um, this one again, and they have some blues, and I really want to, like I said, try to get some more use out of blues and play around with that color because it's not a color that I reach for very often, and I just want to kind of see if it's something that would suit me and something that I can get comfortable wearing. So this is definitely one that I definitely 100% want to reach for very soon. But similar to the Soulja palette, I keep it here, and I just haven't got around to it yet. But and um, what I did mention is that I'm actually moving in with my boyfriend in the next month or so. So that's going to change up my videos a bit as well. I'm going to have a new background and all that. But I will keep you more updated on that in the upcoming video. But that means that I will have all my makeup in one place. Which is probably going to help me to use these things a bit easier. So that's something that will hopefully change. Uh, and then the next UVS Place palette that I have is the Deuce palette. And this one is one that I was so, so excited to get because I think this is absolutely stunning. It's such a unique colour scheme as well and I kind of like these lighter um, shades on my eyes. I'm not too into like those really, really deep tones. So I thought that this would be really, really fun for me. And, and I have also been trying to get more into colours. So I think this would be something that really inspired me. And Again, I haven't really put it on my eyes yet, but I have swatched it so many times and it's absolutely stunning. 
and I can't wait to actually get to play around with this. So all the upcoming palettes are these one here, which if you recognize this brand, you probably will know what they all are. They are all from Colourpop and it's all their nine pan palettes. So most of them are very, very new to my collection, which is why I haven't used them yet, but I have one that I've had for almost a year now and um, i did pick that up again in that may order last year so not quite a year but almost and the palette that i haven't used at all from that um kind of haul is this one right here which is the soul palette i remember wanting this so bad because i thought it was such a stunning kind of color palette it's very kind of warm it reminds me of summer and it's such a beautiful palette um, and i just haven't gone around to using it I think because I, again, do my Pandora's eyeshadows, I have let some of my eyeshadow palettes just fall kind of behind and I haven't gone around to playing with them at all because I'm so focused on hitting pans. And that's great because I'm getting so much use out of eyeshadows that I never played with before. I play with different color combinations and it's great. But it also means that some palettes don't really get very much use. So this is one of them which I haven't actually used yet. I think it's beautiful and I think this is a yeah, lovely palette and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. I just really hope that I manage to get some use out of this this year. And again, if these, like ideally, some of these will be rolling into my panels eyeshadows and then I can play well with them that way because if I were to roll in one, like one shade in here, I still have this palette with me and I reach for it every single day so I'll probably reach for more shades as well. So hopefully that's not something that's going to happen with these palettes but otherwise I'm really going to make an effort to try to reach for them more. Then the remaining five right here are ones that I picked up in a very recent order. They had um, an offer going where I think the whole site was 25% off so I used decided to pick up some palettes that I've been lusting for for so long. Um, so they are all very, very new. I've had them for just a few weeks. I haven't had these long at all. So the palette, first palette that I have is this one right here, which is the Lilac You A Lot. This is quite new for them as well, and I love this. I have the It's My Pleasure palette from before, and I love purples. And I thought that these two matched together will just be stunning, and it would kind of give me more variety as well as different shades because that's very mid-tone and this is more pastels and I think those two together will be absolutely stunning so I decided to pick this up but I haven't played with it on. Next up is one that has been with Colourpop for quite a while and I almost picked this up when I did my order back in May but I just opted against it because I wasn't sure if I would. Since then I have absolutely fallen in love with this colour and that is green so this is the Just My Luck palette and I'm so happy that I finally picked this up. Um, this is a green monotone palette and I can't wait to play around with this because I love green eyeshadows. I don't know why I love them so much but I think it's absolutely stunning um, and yeah this is one palette that I definitely still need to play with and um, I can't wait actually I'm so excited to finally get to play with this very soon but again I used to have so many things that I want to try that I don't know where to start and it's very overwhelming but hopefully I will be able to at least make one look with this relatively soon. Another palette that I picked up to kind of complement that is this one right here which is the Mint To Be which I believe is their newest monochrome palette and this one looks like this so I picked this up similar as my uh, as the Lilac palette just to kind of complement the Just My Luck. Um, again this is very like pastel and I wasn't really sure if I wanted to pick this up first because I wasn't sure if I would enjoy those really really pastel tones but again, I just feel like these two together will be absolutely stunning and they just complement each other so much. So I did decide to pick that one up anyway and it's just something that I don't really have anything else like in my collection. So I felt like it was a good idea at the time. So these are the next two palettes um, and again, I only had them for like a few weeks. So it's not that strange that I haven't played with them yet, but they are nevertheless not used in my collection. So I only have two more palettes to go. Next up we have the Aha uh -huh Honey palette. So one of these palettes for so long um, and that's kind of funny now because I am very very old with yellow eyeshadow due to having so many yellow eyeshadows in my Pandas eyeshadows but I definitely feel like this is one that I will reach for um, later on and it's something that I definitely definitely want to have in my collection. I love this color scheme and I feel like you can make such beautiful looks with this palette. But again, I haven't tried, so who, how would I know? But 
Um, yeah, it's one palette that I'm really excited to have in my collection and hopefully I'll be able to play with this maybe in the spring or summer. But yeah, it's still untouched in my collection. Then the final product and palette is this one right here, which is a Going Coconuts palette, again from Colourpop. I wanted to pick this up because I just, I love the colour scheme. I think this is such a kind of nice take on a neutral palette and I really, really wanted to pick this up. I feel like this is good as well to have like in um, like your makeup bag because it's very, very small, but you have basically all you need for a neutral uh, palette. So I just wanted to pick this up, but I just haven't gone around to playing with it. It's definitely something that I am happy to have because it's more kind of cool toned and I don't have too many cool toned eyeshadow palettes apart from the Soldier palette which is also cool toned. So I think it's a good addition but again I haven't gone around to play with it. So I think this one that's going to be like a staple in my collection eventually but I just need to play with it but it's another one that I'm looking forward to playing with because I think, find this absolutely stunning. But there you guys was all for this video. I had quite a few items um, and it was kind of insane to go through all of them, especially the palettes. I knew it was, was bad, I knew that I had quite a lot that I haven't touched uh, but just seeing them all in front of use is, yeah, it's a lot. But I hopefully will be able to get through most of these this year. So I have kind of made myself a goal to use my actual palettes more often. Um, I feel like I may start doing something like one week one palette or something like that every maybe two months or so. You're just gonna get these into rotation. Um, not all of them obviously, but you just kind of play around with them. Obviously that's gonna kind of interfere with my panel's eyeshadows and I think that's why I'm starting to get torn with that project because I love doing that. It's so much fun and it's one of my favorite projects ever. But I'm just kind of worried how I'm letting some of my eyeshadow palettes just kind of collect dust. But I will figure out something this year that will mean that I can play around with my new palettes as well as my panel's eyeshadows or panning eyeshadows in general. So I just need to figure out what exactly I want to do. But you can look forward to some sort of videos from me this year. Either, like I said, one week one palette or just like first impressions or get ready with me or something like that. Because I do want to play around with these palettes more often. But if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and have a lot of products that you actually haven't used in your collection, please let me know down below so I don't feel so bad. Uh, and otherwise, I hope you're having an amazing day and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.